They're all up tough, right? Yeah, going right. You're in training camp, practice 17. Guys are grinding, working, sun's out. Uh, really good team. Everybody playing hard. So I thought it was a great day, not a tough day. Have you seen any good effects from not having two-a-days, Kerry? I mean, I, it's a completely different schedule. It's the NFL schedule. And our kids, I think the, the routine is positive. They know what to expect every day. It's a morning, it's morning meetings, morning practice, rest time, meetings, walkthrough. I think our evening walkthroughs have been phenomenal. Uh, I think they're a difference maker for us. So I think we're actually getting more out of camp than we did when we had two days. I was gonna say the I would think the second practice on two a day sometimes there would be some lollygagging tough. or something. Yeah. Well it's just tough and physically yeah. it's hard to recover the next day. Right. And you, you cut meeting time out and you lose some other things that we're not losing right now. So right now I think it's a huge positive. You guys rotated yeah. three corners last year. We talked to you a lot about that. We talked right. about it in the spring. Is that still the plan you guys are gonna rotate probably three your top or four. three or, three or four. four? You know, and then and then the nickel spot. So we've got some guys that are talented, some young guys that are still learning the culture. Uh, we've got some experienced guys that are playing at a really high level. So uh, the plan would be, I, I truly believe this, I know you guys always think I'm kidding, I think fast, fresh corners are, are the most effective way to go. And you know, we played a game last year where a team ran three straight vertical goes uh, with three fresh guys on, on one guy, and that's a tough way to go. So our plan is to play and have fresh corners on the field. Who are your, Denzel, who's, yeah, who's go your ahead. three right now? Who, who would be your three you throw out there? Denzel, uh, Damon Arnett, and Kendall Sheffield right now. Jeff Okuda's making a huge push, playing really well uh, the last three days. Sean Wade's last two days have been his best two as a Buckeye. Marcus Williamson started off ahead of both of those guys, but he got a little bit of a ding, so he's missed three practices. Amir, because he came in June, is a little bit behind, and that's just the nature of things. Uh, more than anything, the young guys got to learn the culture of the unit and the culture of the program. And I think when they really, really get that and it becomes part of who they are, it'll be a, it'll be a really, really cool thing for them. Damon Arnett especially, what, what just stood out about him? I mean, in the spring, we asked you about him. I know right. I did. And, and in family, Damon's what, always had really good physical skills, and he's always been a little bit lacking from a maturity standpoint. And that's just grown man conversation that we've had over and over and over again. And he has got, he has got charisma. He has got juice. He will remind you of Bradley Roby when he's on the field with the swagger and the way he plays. Uh, I love that about him. Sometimes I got to every day. I got to pull it back and pull him back. But uh, and he'll still make some of those mistakes that come from momentary lack of focus. But I'm telling you right now, he's he's a football player and he's a he's a Buckeye. You want to go to you want to go get in a fight? You're gonna take Daniel with you. You mentioned uh, that Jeffrey O'Connor in the last three or four days is going to. Yeah. What's been the difference? What do you see? Is it just the last three or four days. Yeah. Like it's what's maturity. It? We had a unit meeting last yeah. night. We talked about each player, what individual thing they needed to do to get better. And his is focus. He's focused every play. You know, he's still a young kid. And this, this a training camp for a young kid, this is dramatic. And so you know, it, it takes them a little bit of time and a little while to get the swing of things. He's finally starting to get it. Once he can focus every play on just that job, just that play, I think he's going to be great. On special teams, can you go down maybe some of the top guys? Obviously, Paris, I'm sure, is going to be the kick returner. But punt returner, who are going to be some of the main guys at punt returner? Yeah, we have we have a great group of fast athletes back there right now. K.J. Hill, probably the most secure. Um, Receiver of punts and kickoffs, great, great hands. Um, Demario McCall is an electric player. Kendall Sheffield is very, very fast with his hands on the ball. Eric Glover Williams can make a miss in a portalette. And, and like you said, Paris Camp, who can catch both uh, kickoffs and punts. So we have a lot of guys. J.K. Dobbins is dynamic. So we have a lot of guys back there that are vying for the opportunity to do that. Number one thing will be ball security. Number two thing is going to be, can you put your foot in the ground and, and go get us some yards? Because we're going to be better on punt return this year. And the kicking game, um, how is, how's Sean doing as the kicker and how's, how's Drew doing as the punter? Sean and Blake are competing at kicker. And I think that's okay. only right. I think that's only fair. I think that's how you how you go into camp. And uh, Sean has handled that very well. Uh, he, he's not perfect yet, but he's much better than he was last year with the injury. He's kicking through the ball well. Uh, Drew Chrisman is a phenomenal punter. And uh, you're going to be excited to see what Drew, Drew does with the ball. We had a great punter. We have another great punter. Did you use Portland?